Trick training is an awesome way to have a little bit of fun with your horse and the same goes for Liberty for that matter. And basically it's a really good way to train your horse to think, um, to work over obstacles, to do different tricks, um, to learn how to basically work off an association very easily and all those things. So, and it can just be a magical experience as you develop the trick and you make it really good and you start flowing and reading each other's minds basically as you, as you work with the horse. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how to train the horse to lay down. Now this horse doesn't currently lay down. So one of the easiest ways, because when we're working uh, tricks and all these things, it's very important that your horse trusts you. Um, you can't really train tricks if your horse doesn't trust you and isn't willing to be close to you or um, doesn't feel comfortable in a vulnerable situation uh, if it's close to you at the same time. So you want to make sure that you've built up a good relationship with your horse and don't force the horse to do anything that they can't do reasonably easy and definitely without any fear involved. Okay, trick training has to be um, fun Oops. <laughs> and uh, it has to be something that the horse can understand pretty easily. So I like to use um, scenarios where the horse would do a movement naturally. So if we're wanting to get the horse to lay down, for instance, I'll use a scenario where here he, uh, he's, you know, he's not tacked up or anything like that. And he feels like rolling because there are quite a lot of flies and he would just like to get down in this nice soft sand. So what I'll do with him, or, you know, you can ride him first and make them a little bit sweaty and then you untack them and take them into this scenario. So basically you want to start thinking about what is your end result? The end result is that you want the horse to lay down on a cue. So you don't want the horse just to lay down randomly at times because that's not going to be a good deal for you <laughs> or the horse for that matter. Okay. It could be dangerous. So you want the horse to lay down on a cue. So even now, even though the horse doesn't know any cue, I want to start coming up with a cue. Okay. And um, if I want to perform some of these exercises under saddle, then I'll have to come up with a under saddle cue as well. But I'll have two cues. I'll have my from the ground cue and my under saddle cue. And what I need is I need my, my cue to actually make it happen. And then I also need a release cue that releases him from the exercise. And all of these things in the beginning won't actually work, but the horse will be learning by association. So I might say a word that means nothing to him to begin with, um, but I'll say it right before he does the exercise. And then after a while, he'll start to connect the dots and realize that it's actually the word that's the cue or the movement that I make or something like that. So, um, now let's go ahead and see just from this, this natural scenario that I've put him in, if he's actually willing to, to start to uh, play around a little bit and think about laying down and rolling. Okay, so all I have to do is basically, there are certain things that I want to set up. Like a horse, when they want to roll, they might start to pour the ground a little bit or they might lower their head a little bit. So he needs to be relaxed. I'm not going to get a horse to roll if he's tense. So there we have some of it and I'm going to say lay down and there we go. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yes, good boy. And lay down, good boy. So all the time it has to be Thank you. Good. Good boy. Okay. So that's just to show you that if you go, if you have a nice, whoops, if you have a nice relaxed horse that trusts you already, that doesn't mind going down right next to you, uh, that is comfortable being in a vulnerable scenario, very close to you, then this way is actually the easiest way to completely without making any uh, contact with the horse, teach the horse how to lay down. Um, 
then when I add the cue, you know, my cue will either be lay down or I have a favorite one that I start to add a little bit once, once the horse starts responding more to this scenario. So basically I'll come in, I'll use five to 10 minutes on this. Maybe every time I work the horse, either I'll come in and I'll do this as the first thing when the horse wants to, wants to roll or I'll ride the horse, make him a little sweaty, then untack him and then give him the chance to roll each time. So slowly but surely he'll start to connect the idea that every time I come in here with this uh, sense to it or he's a little sweaty and all these things, we're going to roll. So he'll start to notice what cues I give him and then I can add my favorite cue on the ground, which is I basically just scratch the ground twice and I'll do it underneath him. Okay, so here if he was pawing the ground, I would scratch the ground right there and say lay down. Okay, and then he would take his natural cue just from his own desire to lay down and then he would lay down. And shortly he would start to develop an understanding of what this actually means that he should lay down. Once he's laying down and he's rolling or whatever, to begin with they have a tendency to roll, they don't just lay down. Um, but once he's, uh, once he's uh, laying down a little bit more, then I can start to give him the, the cue to get back up again which sometimes I'll use good boy or okay or all right or any of those type of words but you want to make sure that it's not a word like for instance good boy can be a bit tricky because your mind will want to um, play games with you in regards to saying good boy just to reward him and that might release him too soon from the exercise okay um, so that's part of the steps then when the horse gets a little bit gets a little bit better at doing it more quickly and you might start to realize that the horse actually puts extra steps in there so it'll maybe start to lay down and then it'll stand back up again or whatever to see if that's what you wanted that's when you can really start to play with the nuances and that's when you can also start to ask the horse to stay down um, longer and the way you do that is again the horse needs to trust you a lot but if he tries to lift up his head from the ground, all you have to do is flex his head a little bit back towards his hip again, and he'll lay right back down again because the sheer um, mechanics of his body won't allow him to stand up. Okay, so this is just a very basic video just to get you guys to understand that you can get a horse to lay down just from his own desire without having to work with whips or anything like that to teach him um, each step separately. So we're going to work a lot more on this and I'm going to come back at a later time when he has more of a step-by-step -step lay down to show you more in detail. But this is um, a good first step and I want you to have fun with it. Just, you know, enjoying your horse and him enjoying you.